Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mokami, the environmentalist. If you're new here, welcome. Subscribe to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about why you need to conserve water. So, let's get into it. Did you know that 70% of the world is made of water? Like the whole world. 70% of it is made of water. That is a good thing. But out of that, out of the waters we have in this world, the waters we have in the ocean, in lakes, in rivers, on land, underground, those that are in form of ice, 97.5% is in the ocean. 95, 97.5. So we are left with 2.5%. So, ocean water. Remember, this water is salt water. So, you cannot be able to use it for drinking. I'm telling you why you need to conserve the drops of water you're wasting in your tub. So, we cannot be able to drink the ocean water. So, we are left with 2.5% of all waters in the world. Now, out of this 2.5%, 30 0.8% is found in the ground. 30% of this water that we have to, we have been left with 2.5% of the water that is fresh water. Right? So this fresh water, 30.8% of the fresh water we have in the world is found underground. The where we drill boreholes and we get water. That is the water I'm talking about. So that is out of our use, out of our reach. So, 30.8% is underground. So then, the water we have been left with up, up here is what is on land, on the lakes, the rivers, what we have in the swamps, what we have in the small dams that we have here. So, out of that, 68.9% of that water is frozen, is in frozen form. Frozen is like the ice we have. You know, we have ice on mountains and stuff. So that water is frozen. 68.9% of the water that we have been left that is on land, that is fresh for drinking, is frozen. Okay? So, the amount of water we have left for ourselves, our animals, our farms, our industries is only 0.3% of all waters in the world. That is the water that we can be able to, to use. And remember, this 0.3% of this water, some of them are polluted so they cannot be, be used. Like for example, we have rivers that are so polluted that you cannot be able to drink from them in the 0.3%. And you still have the guts to keep polluting the environment, polluting the waters. Remember now what is happening with climate change. Climate change is making the atmospheric temperature, the temperatures in the air too, to be so high. So when temperatures are high, the amount of water that is going to evaporate will be very high. So, and remember, we already did cut trees. Like our rivers don't have trees around them. We already created those trees. That is what we did. We already created our way in the forest. We already created the forest. So with the amount of evaporation, with the increased rate of evaporation, we lose so much water from the ground, from the rivers, from the dams, from the lakes into the atmosphere. So where do we get water for drinking if we continue with the same trends? That is why you need to conserve the water you have for drinking. Having a glass of water is precious, so you need to conserve the water. These are not the days we could use water directly from the river. We have to treat it. A glass, if you, would, if you, you, you were to buy a glass of water, in that glass of water, remember, there is the amount of money that has been used to clean that water. 
it is not everybody who is privileged to have tapped water that has been treated. So then, if you are advantaged to have that, you need to take care of the resource. Use them well so that at least the surplus can be able to, can reach other people downstream or somewhere else, people who cannot be able to access the same water. So you must know that water is scarce, fresh water is scarce, and it is expensive to treat water. So you need to take care of the way you're using your water. Take care of your water. So, subscribe to my channel, Conserve Water, like this video, and let me know what you think about the little amount of fresh water we have. Water is becoming a scarce resource. So let me know down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video.